question for you. And don't click off until you, you hear these questions because this is a divine confirmation. Have you been feeling unusually tired, lethargic, passive, not feeling like yourself? But then on the flip side, you can't go to bed. You feel like an insomniac. You feel like despite how tired you are, for some reason you just get in the bed and you just wanna stay up all night. But you, there's really no rest physically or mentally. These are some indicators of some things that are happening spiritually. Let me tell you, before you click off, just please listen because I've traveled all across the United States speaking to thousands of people. And I get up in front of these audiences and I ask them, just raise your hand if you been unusually tired or lethargic and you have no explanation for it despite your diet despite working out and 95% of the audience raises their hand from coast to coast in the United States there is something that's happening in and I need to talk to you about why okay because it goes deep there are forces at play and I'm sounding the alarm and I'm exposing them that are trying to rob masses of people from their divine purpose this is a clandestine secret plan and I'm going to uncover it As a matter of fact I don't even know how long this video will stay up so you want to watch it throughout its entirety because this is literally your destiny on the line you are alive for such a time as this and you need to understand the significance of what's happening in this hour as a matter of fact many uh, I, I I'm just gonna be very careful with what I say but I'm gonna expose some things there are many people in positions, that's the best way I can say it, that have been using the phrase dark winter. As you know, we're coming into the winter. Next month is officially the winter. And so they've been using this phrase dark winter. And so you probably have been feeling lethargic, tired, and it's unseasonably tired, un unusually tired. Now look at the comment section. You're going to see hundreds upon hundreds of people that are saying the same thing. These are people who are workout enthusiasts, fitness enthusiasts. These are people with their diets dialed in. Why are they still feeling this? Okay. So this is not just a biological phenomenon. I'm not fear mongering right now. This is not clickbait. Okay. Despite what some of the critics say, matter of fact, they will send, they, and there's a very specific, they will send trolls and bots to the chat to try to undermine what I say. And when you go to these people's profiles, you'll see they have no followers. They've never posted com content because there is a concerted effort to stop people from uni unifying and mobilizing. There is a concerted effort to stop people from stepping in and doing what God has destined and ordained them to do. You're not gonna hear a lot of these messages, the messages like this on social media because they get severely suppressed, black, blocked and banned, okay? So it's very important. Now, let me just back up. I'm a prophetic man of God. I have narrated for the last several years what's going to happen and when it's gonna happen. There's a reason why people trust me. There's a reason why they subscribe to this page. And I'm telling you right now, please hear me. Smash the thumbs up if you know me by the Spirit. Just smash the thumbs up if you know me by the Spirit. There, there, I'm telling you now, we are engaged in a spiritual battle. It's impossible to read the New Testament from the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, all the way to Revelation and not draw the conclusion that we are fighting demons. We are fighting demonic spirits. Right now, you have UFO phenomenon ubiquitous in the earth. Right now, you, you go to the local grocery stores here in New York City where I'm at. I'm in New York City right now. And at Whole Foods, you are paying with your palm. <laughs> Do you hear what I'm saying? Uh, you you are paying with your palm right now. This is this is the day and the hour that we live in, and the Lord showed me in prayer that there is a spiritual slumber and a tiredness that has been sent on assignment by the devil to rob people from stepping into the fullness of why God has literally birthed them in the earth for such a time as this. And I'm going to pray. So do not click off of this message. Stay for the entire duration because I'm going to begin to pray. And as I pray, many of you are going to feel this broken off of you. Some of you are going to get deliverance from these demons that have been on assignment. Matter of fact, you might even have to turn this up 
as loud as you can in your home to let every demon on assignment in your home hear what I'm saying right now because I'm about to evict these spirits from your home, from your life in Jesus name. Now we're not there yet because I need to break some more things down because this is all this is all a concerted effort. This is an agenda from the enemy. And there are people in positions of high power. There are people in, that's the best way I can say it for the algorithm, that do not want you to hear this message. Now, let me just tell you, I'm a global traveler. I travel all over the world. You can go into other countries and you can eat their food, literally carbs, and still feel fine. Walking around on your feet, no problem. So we are systematically, and this is not, again, not fear monger, but we are systematically being bombarded by an agenda to slow us down, to restrict us, to hold us back. And let me tell you why. You are a prophetic people. This is the generation of Elijah that is that are going to dream dreams. This is what Joel prophesied about when he said that your, your sons and daughters will prophesy. And think about it. If you don't sleep, you don't dream. And if you don't dream, you don't get revelation. And if you don't get revelation, you don't get motivation. And if you don't get motivation, you don't take action. So there is a, a, an assignment from Satan to stop you come on smash the thumbs up if you believe what I'm saying right now to stop you from dreaming prophetic dreams to stop you from discerning and seeing the signs of the times there is supposed to be a global harvest of souls your your family is supposed to be saved before 2024 your family is supposed to be delivered before 2024 you are supposed to step into financial provision before 2024 you're supposed to be a Joseph building a Goshen where you have provision for your family before economic collapse but the devil is trying to stop you from getting it I feel the fire of God all over me will you hit the fire emoji right now and throw it in the chat start sharing this message with as many people as you can text it over to them before it gets taken down so I'm telling you right now are you experiencing an attack in your sleep are you experiencing an attack in your sleep? Are your friends and family members opposing you? Have you been subjected to unusual cruelty? Are they criticizing you? Are they backbiting and talking about you? Have you been rejected or abandoned by the people? Some of you are like, how does he know this? I know it by the spirit. Some of you are freaking out right now because you're like, how does Pastor Mike know what I've been encountering? Because I'm telling you, the Lord has given me the strategy of the enemy so I can dismantle it and destroy it I'm getting ready to pray here in a little bit but before I pray you guys gotta understand that this message is important for you because God wants to do something in your family before 2024 somebody put in the chat right now before 2024 drop it in the chat right now put that phrase before 2024 now I had a vision in prayer and I want to tell you this vision and as I explain this vision some of you are immediately gonna bear witness with it okay don't just trust me because I'm online trust me by the Spirit the Holy Spirit will confirm a prophet to you okay now the vision that I saw was that you were in bed and as you were laying in bed you were tossing and turning and you were in a twilight what that means is you were neither asleep nor awake it was like you were in between and a robber a thief came into your home and as the thief walked into your home you were tossing and turning and as you were tossing and turning you knew that it was time to wake up and stop the thief you knew that it was time to wake up and stop the thief and you matter of fact I saw in your closet a weapon and the weapon was in your closet and you knew it was there and but you were in a twilight you were neither awake nor asleep tossing and turning and you kept saying to yourself I'm too tired to stop the thief I'm too tired to stop the thief and then you made a decision this is the vision that I had. You made a decision to let the thief rob, to let him steal. And he was going out throughout your house stealing and you said, I'll let them, I'll let them take it. And here's what I believe. That vision is the urgency of this message that I'm speaking right now. Because you let the thief steal your children. You let the thief steal 
your and I saw gold like items which, which I represent I believe represents um, the prosperity of the Lord the provision of the Lord you let him steal food which is provision sustenance and the Lord told me tell my people to awake from their slumber he said Mike pray for my people today break off every demonic assignment and cast every single demon out of their lives out of their houses out of their bodies so that they do not miss their moment so that they do not miss their assignment I need everybody to hit the thumbs up on this broadcast right now if if you affirm by the spirit what I'm saying okay because I'm getting ready to pray and I feel a surge that's happening okay I feel a surge in the spirit now before I pray because I believe this prayer is gonna change everything before I pray let me just go a little bit deeper right now okay here's the thing the Lord show me discouragement are you with me the Lord showed me discouragement and he said, my people, the root of it for many of you is a root of discouragement. And what, what does that mean? You put your hope in man and man has failed you. You put your hope in, in a church, you put your hope in a ministry and that ministry failed you and it caused discouragement and discouragement caused despair and despair has disabled you. And that's what the Lord began to show me. How many of you affirm what I'm saying? How many of you have been feeling discouraged? You, and, and the Bible says, hope deferred makes the heart sick. And I begin to see your heart in the spiritual realm and there's a heart sickness. And the Lord says, that he's dealing with discouragement and heart sickness. Some of you, your spouse, you thought your spouse was gonna become a man of God and he never stepped in and you're discouraged and the delay has caused you to become heart sick. Some of you, you, you got this word about stepping into ministry, stepping into your calling and it hasn't come to pass. Is, is there anybody, just tell me in the chat, I need feedback in the comment section because the Lord is just speaking through me. I can barely keep up with what he's showing me in the spiritual realm. And you've been discouraged. Some of you, you've been believing for a healing. And you said, God, I know that you can heal me. You, some of you fasted for the healing. Some of you went to conferences for the healing and it hasn't happened. And you've been discouraged and that discourage has turned to tiredness. It's turned to lethargy. Is there anybody right now who knows what I'm talking about? Is that you? Is that you? And so the Lord said, Mike, deal with discouragement today. Deal with discouragement today. I feel the anointing. I feel the power of God so strongly. Deal with discouragement. Yeah, many of you guys are saying this is on point. This is for me. Okay, so what does this mean? What do we do? Let me tell you, you always fight a spirit with the opposite spirit. If, if this is why they told Jesus, they said, oh, you're casting out Beelzebub by the power of Beelzebub. And Jesus said, a house divided against itself cannot stand. So if you're getting fought with passivity and lethargy and tiredness and you go lay in your bed, you're literally fighting a spirit with the same spirit because they want you in the bed. It wants you in your favorite chair, sitting there scrolling all day. How many of you do this? You sit in your favorite chair, you have a spot on the, on the couch. The Lord's showing me this by the spirit right now. Some of you need to physically take a physical Bible and you need to place the Bible on your favorite spot on the couch, on your favorite chair and say, I will not sit in this spot. I'm gonna stand in this hour. Yeah, come on, you hear that alarm going off here in New York City? And I am going to contend in the spiritual realm because you fight a spirit by the opposite spirit. What does this mean? It means that if the devil is tempting you with being lethargic, then you stand up, you rise up, and you say, no devil, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take back everything that you're trying to steal from me, and you're not gonna have my body, you're not gonna have my children, you're not gonna have my destiny. So th this is it. This is why Jesus said, told the man, pick up your mat and walk. Pick up your mat and be healed. There's something about saying, I can't use this mat anymore. I have to pick it up. And as he picked it up, he was healed. There's some of you that need to stand up in your hospital bed. Stand up in your be in your bedroom right now. Stand up if you're I, you physically as a sign and I'm getting ready to pray. Why? 
because the devil is on assignment to try to stop you from obtaining the fullness of what you have. Some of you are who are single are getting ready to meet your mate right now, but you're like, oh, I'm, I'm giving up, I'm quitting, I'm letting myself go. Some of you are getting ready to step into the assignment for ministry, for your calling, and you're about to quit right before it happens. Some of you are literally getting ready to step into financial provision, and you are getting ready to, to quit before it happens. And let me just say this, there, I see the Lord showing me even more right now, okay? Can I keep going? If you want me to keep going, just let me know in the chat. Hit the thumbs up right now. If you want me to keep going, hit the thumbs up on this broadcast because I got a little bit more before we pray. I'm feeling the power of God all over this message right now to a degree that I have not felt it in years. That's how urgent this is. That's how you do not let multinational corporations that are controlled and puppeteered by demons win over you and your family. Do not let governments that are puppeteered by demons win over you and your family. Do not let their agenda to work against you. We are the bride of Christ. We have to see in the spirit what's happening. I'm getting ready to pray, but, be, but before I pray, one last thing. I begin to see for many of you in your in your personal life you've been fear, you've been feeling a solicitation to sin, a solicitation to temptation. You've been drawn back to relapse. Some of you it's the taste of alcohol. Some of you it's literally wanting to go back to vaping, going back to tobacco products. And again, these companies are controlled by demons. And so don't look at man, but they're being puppeteered to rob you of your health. Do you hear what I'm saying? To rob you of your, of your ability. And so how many of you have been fear, feeling a solicitation back to pornography, back to lust, back to the dating websites? How, how many of you, because promotion always comes disguised as temptation. Do you hear me? Promotion always comes disguised as temptation. And if you've been feeling pulled back, pulled back and solicited, it's because the devil is so afraid of what's going to happen once you step fully in. And, and so some of you, you out of your tiredness, you've been wanting to go back out of your time. You've been saying, oh, my mind, the anxiety, I have to drink, I have to smoke. Oh, my mind, the worry, I have to go back. Oh, how am I going to pay my bills? I need a man. I'm going to go get back with my ex. And if that's you, I'm speaking to you as a spiritual father. I'm speaking to you as a prophetic voice. Do not go back. I see many in the body of Christ literally turning into a pillar of salt in this season because the Lord is getting ready to destroy some things. He's getting ready to burn some things down to the ground and the Lord's saying, don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back, my daughter. I'm getting ready to burn it to the ground. Don't turn into a pillar of salt in this season. Walk forward. Set your eyes forward. Come on, who's hearing this right now? Man, I feel the power of God literally surging through my body. And here's what God wanted me to tell you. He, he is faithful. He is going to he is going to sustain your body. The Lord that the Lord began to show me preservation preservation. He said, I'm going to preserve your body. I'm going to preserve your mind. I'm going to preserve your, your anointing and the calling that's on you. I'm going to, I see the word preservation and the Lord says, I am preserving. I've been seeing that word over and over and over and over again, preservation. I'm getting ready to pray. Come on. I'm getting ready to pray preservation. How many of you feel this? How many of you feel this with me? Just hit the thumbs up if, if this is a major confirmation to you because I've been feeling this so strongly. Before I get ready to pray, let me tell you tonight, tonight across the United States is the Domino Revival movie. It's back in theaters with the simulcast. So I'm about to pray for you right now and then guess what's gonna happen? After I pray for you tonight, if you're in the United States, you're gonna be in the movie theater with your friends and your family and God's gonna finish what he started in this broadcast. Because I feel like today is the day before 2024. So tonight is Domino Revival movie round two. Get your tickets and go. Buy tickets for your friends, buy tickets for your family members and go. Because I feel like the Lord said, Mike, start something today and let me finish it tonight in the theaters. I feel that it like a, an urgency on the inside of me. So tonight, we're going for it, y'all. 
like Domino Revival Round 2 across America with the simulcast, and I'm going to put the sword right in the belly of the beast in America. We're going to say no to all the agendas of the enemy, and tonight across America, those movie theaters are turning into sanctuaries. I already trained up hundreds of leaders to be in these auditoriums ready to pray for people while I'm praying in the simulcast at the end of the movie. So the, the pinned comment is to get your movie tickets. It's in the description. Make sure you go tonight. How many of you are going? I'm getting ready to pray right now, okay? So Heavenly Father, come on, let's pray. Don't click off, I'm about to pray. Heavenly Father, I pray for every single person watching right now. I break every assignment of Satan off of them by the blood of Jesus right now. And I release the anointing to break every burden of isolation, of loneliness, of fear. I speak to the Spirit of python that's been strangling their neck and i command the spirit of python that serpent to loose their neck right now in the name of jesus and to go right now back to the abyss you will not steal their life you want you will not steal their breath every spirit of python go in the name of jesus come on some of you need to turn up your phone you need to turn up your tablet or your television and let every demon under the sound of my voice hear me right now so i speak to discouragement I speak to discouragement, depression, and I command you to go. Every foul spirit of discouragement and depression, go in the name of Jesus. You must go. I break your power, every chain. I see the Lord breaking heavy chains off of your neck. Heavy chains are being broken off of your neck right now. Heavy chains, chains of slavery. I break the curse of slavery. You will not be a slave. Slave to systems of government, slaves of systems systems of the world, slaves to alcohol and tobacco. You will not be slaves. I break the power of mental slavery right now in the name of Jesus, emotional slavery. You will not be a slave to pharmacia, to pills. You will not be a pill addict. You will not be dependent on pills, says the Lord. I believe that many of you are being freed from a spirit of pharmacia, which is mind control. It's witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, loose them now. Every spirit that has been binding them and holding them back from activity, I command it to go in the name of Jesus now. And I really supernatural encouragement. I release supernatural strength. I release supernatural peace over every single one of you. The shalom of God right now. The, the, the Lord has shown me right now that many of you, your back is covered with open wounds because people have been talking about you backbiting that I see like their tongues, like swords, just slicing your back. And you, and many of you have, have had these wounds on your back. Some of you, your friends, your family members, confidence, people in ministry that you trusted. They've been slicing and dicing with their tongue. But I hear the Lord saying that I will lift up a standard against them and I will silence every single tongue that has risen up against you. And the Lord says, when they talked about you, they were talking about me because you've been living for my name's sake. And so right now we cancel every assignment of slander, character assassination, gossip. In the name of Jesus, we thwart it, we cancel it and Lord lift up a standard against it right now in the name of Jesus. And I say peace. I say peace. I say peace. Every tormentor, every demonic spirit that torments, every demonic spirit that afflicts torment. There's, I see somebody, it's like in your mind, it's your thoughts, your thoughts, your thoughts. I take captive every thought that erects itself up against the word of God and pull it down right now in the name of Jesus. Every single thought that is contrary to the word of God, I pull it down right now. Come on, start hitting the thumbs up. If you come into agreement with this, I, I wanna show, show me a visible sign of agreement by smashing the thumbs up right now because I believe that the Lord right now is, is causing somebody's mind to be silent. And you're just, right now, you've been hearing so many thoughts. Every spirit of, of the lunatic spirit, the spirit of schizophrenia, the spirit of multiple voices, that the spirit of deception, I command you to go right now in the name of Jesus. Loose them right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of lunatic, 
the spirit of the lunatic spirit. Some of you have been saying, am I going crazy? Am I losing my mind? No, your mind is kept in perfect peace by Jehovah, by God right now. Yeah, come on. There's many of you that are experiencing breakthrough and freedom even as I'm beginning to pray. I hear the Lord saying, I'm healing their body. Stay on this broadcast. Don't tap off because the Lord is healing. He's saying, I'm healing their body. I'm healing their mind. I'm restoring the effects. Some of you who have been discouraged, I see migraine headaches being healed. I see somebody's mind being healed right now. Right now in the name of Jesus, migraine headaches Somebody ringing in the ears is disappearing right now. Tinnitus is going away right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody's knees are being strengthened. Somebody, as you stood up, literally your lower back was healed right now. Just stand up. Your lower back is being healed in the name of Jesus. Yeah, people in the chat, listen, people in the comment section are saying that they're being healed right now. This is a divine confirmation. Let me tell you while I'm still praying, while you're being, why are you being delivered? Why are you being healed? To step into what God has for you, to step into your purpose, to write the book, to preach, to prophesy, to travel, to step into your purpose, to get married, to have babies. The Lord is mobilizing. We are not going to be victims of this demonic global system to try to sterilize us and anesthetize us and put us back to sleep. We are going to rise up bold as lions and fight a spirit with an opposite spirit and not let the devil win. You will birth that business. You will birth that ministry. You will step into your assignment from God and you are not going to back down. Come on, somebody. I feel the power of God all over this message for somebody right now. Tell, come on, do you? how many of you feel just physically strengthened? Drop a comment right now. How many of you feel physically strengthened right now? Like it's literally, you just feel different. How many of you feel a clarity of thought? How many of you right now, your mind is just clear? clear? Yeah, come on, right now. Thousands of people getting delivered right now. Thousands of people getting free right now. Tonight is the Domino Revival movie in America. And some of you were like, oh, I'm not going to go. But God just changed your plans because God is going to finish what he started in this broadcast. And it, tonight across America, theaters are going to be filled with your friends, your family, your spouse. And it is go it's going to happen. It is going to happen tonight. It is the time for revival. You and your family are not going to experience an economic collapse. You and your family are going to experience provision and blessing in the midst of other people's collapse. You are a Joseph sitting on a pile of seed and in, in distributing seed in a time of famine. Come on, somebody. Do you bear witness with this? You are a David that while they're here in the taunts of Goliath, you are slaying giants. You are a Joshua that's stepping into the promised land to possess the land and take what God had promised you. Come on. You are... Do you feel the anointing on this? Yeah, look at the testimonies like crazy. Guys, I love you so much. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button. By the way, this is the first time I said this, but we have 2,100 people on right now. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you never miss another prophetic word. Tap that button down below that says subscribe because God wants you to join this family and be a part of what he's destined for you to be a part of. Guys, I've been on for almost 30 minutes. I'm about to jump off. It's so crazy to have 2,100 people on and jump off, but I'm getting ready for the Domino Revival movie. I cannot wait to pray over you tonight in the simulcast. I can't, it's going, you know, that's the number one question. Is there a simulcast? Yes. As soon as that last scene of the movie hits, I'm coming up and we're setting the captives free all across America. Hey, if you've already subscribed to my channel, would you consider becoming a channel member? And so you can tap the button down below and become a channel member. Somebody just did it right now. And so channel members get exclusive Zooms. We meet via Zoom. I pray for people, prophesy over them. And I say things that I quite frankly can't say here on social media. So become a channel member. There's different membership levels. You can choose which one works for you. And uh, go ahead and do that right now. Become a channel member. And then I, I do a exclusive exclusive Zooms as well as um, exclusive videos that get dropped that you can't see unless you're a member. So become a channel member. 
here on YouTube as well. Consider, matter of fact, last thing I'll say and then I'm gonna jump off is I've been doing a lot of deep training. Yeah, people are joining, Hazel did. Many people are becoming channel members now. Um, so I, I'm gonna be doing deep mentorship and deep training. So if you wanna become uh, mentored and trained and develop, the Lord told me, he's like, before 2024, begin to, to mentor and train and develop people like never before. And so if you're not a monthly partner, you're not gonna get access to it. There's all different levels from like, whatever, a couple bucks a month to whatever, but just become, become a channel member, become a monthly partner so you don't miss your opportunity to be trained and mentored and developed. I'm, and I'm gonna start going much deeper. I did a lot of training for deliverance, a lot of training for evangelism and healing, but I felt like the Lord wanted me to go deeper. Yeah, look, three people just became channel members now. Thank you, Victor. Victor just sowed a seed right now. Thank you guys for um, yeah, praise God. So many of you guys are becoming captains and lieutenants. You can see it down below. Yeah, thank you. Ah, that's awesome. Sarah Irvin, welcome. Elsie, Chief Breezy, <laughs> welcome. So many of you guys are becoming new members. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of training, a lot of development, and I'm going to be going deep. You know, I think the Lord w had brought me through a season of training the basics, but I want to go into advance, advance for prophecy, advance for deliverance, advance for evangelism, helping people set up for their next season. I feel like many of you are authors. Uh, there's going to be a lot of talk about that writing businesses what it looks like to have christian businesses christian entrepreneurship so we're going to be spending a lot more time together and that's why i just want before i jump off i want to take like two more minutes and encourage you guys to become channel members um, or monthly partners you guys also can download the breakers mobile app so if you go to the app store and yeah come on jamie brindy i think it's brindy lee welcome so there's gonna be the Breakers mobile app, there's gonna be content also in there. If you go to your app store, just type in Mike Signorelli or type in the Breakers or go to MikeSignorelli.com, you can find the links to the Breakers mobile app, which is awesome as well. So Michelle, wait, welcome, welcome, welcome. Love it, love it, love it. Man, so many people are becoming channel members right now. That's amazing. Yeah, we're gonna go deep and we're just gonna spend more quality time together. I don't know if you guys heard, but I canceled all of my speaking indefinitely for the next for foreseeable future. And I felt like the Lord told me, instead of me traveling, because I was traveling extensively, the Lord told me just lock in and train and mentor and develop people. And so if you guys become a channel partner, I'm doing that. I'm really going to be training and, and mentoring and developing deeply. And so digitally, I'm going to be much more available than I have been because I eliminated all of my physical travel so that I can really be a part. Chris, welcome to Sergeant. Come on. Why not? Welcome to Sergeant. Man, so many people are joining. That's awesome. And you can tell who's a channel member because they have a little star next to their name as well, which is cool. Sammy, Teresa, awesome, awesome, awesome. So good. Pure Truth Podcast, welcome. Thank you guys for becoming channel members. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of really fun stuff. So guys, I'm getting ready to jump off. Carlita, welcome. So many channel members joining. I love seeing this. Tonight, I will... Um, yeah, bless you guys. Hmm. Bless you guys. Cassie or Casey. It went by Amber, Angel, Journey. Welcome to channel membership. So many people signing up. I love it. Okay, so I'll be hitting you guys up with some members only videos here shortly. Tonight is the movie. Tasha just joined. Welcome. Yeah, tonight's the movie. It's going to be fire. How many of you guys, by the way, Andrew, welcome. Lillian, welcome. How many of you guys are going to... Um, oh, somebody says, I feel in my spirit that Mike Signorelli is going to go down in history as the father of deliverance ministry in the U.S. Praise God. Jillian, welcome. Well, hey, real quick, how many of you guys are going to the movie tonight? I cannot wait for the movie tonight. It's gonna be it's gonna be incredible. Oh, I love that. Heather, welcome to Sergeant. So good. Yes, many people are getting freedom. Yeah, look at this. Meredith, think welcome to channel membership. It's awesome. 
Yeah, now for those of you who live outside of the US who can't see the movie, we're in talks right now for Canada, for Asian nations. We're trying to get crack into the UK. And so we're trying to bring it. Welcome channel members. Welcome Linda, JJ. Welcome. So many channel members joining. I love it. Um, but yeah, for, for, for those of you who don't know, we're trying to get the movie into as many other countries as possible. Now, here's the thing. It is going to be available. Jennifer Davis, welcome as a channel member. It is going to be available for, um, digital distribution soon. So that means, you know, Apple and Amazon and all those different places. And so you will even here on YouTube, you'll be able to rent it as a movie. Yeah, Natasha, welcome. Channel members, welcome. All the new channel members signing up. Welcome to your first day of boot camp. <laughs> welcome to your first day of mentorship. But anyways, as we begin to um, do the digital distribution. We want to be sure that what we first do is get it in theaters because the truth is a lot of unsafe people will still go to movie theaters. They might not go to your house. You know what I mean? It's very difficult sometimes to get people like to church or to a Christian event, but you will get those same people to come to a movie theater. So just be patient with us as we're trying to break open these other countries. What's weird to me is, it, is, is the United States is actually the hardest country to get a movie. So the fact that, hey, Casey, welcome to channel membership. But anyway, so as, yeah, like I said, the hardest thing is to get people to uh, go to, to go to, or to, I'm sorry, the hardest thing is to get a movie in the United States. So you would think that all these other countries would be easier, but a lot of it is just us making the right connections and that type of thing. So yeah, the movie I'm talking about is The Domino Revival. So tonight across America, The Domino Revival is showing. And I need you guys to get tickets and go. Find, you just go to fathomevents.com, the link is pinned and it's in the description. And then you just tap that link, get your tickets and go. Uh, Carolyn Harvey, welcome to channel membership. Yes, so you know tonight's just gonna be off the charts. The Lord's all over it and it's gonna be amazing. So make plans to go. Love you guys so much. Love my UK fam, love my South African fam. I love my fam all over the world, my Canadian family. Justin Williams, welcome to channel membership. Guys, I'm about to sign off for all the new channel members. Expect some mentorship and development videos soon. We're gonna be doing some fun things. Ritzy, welcome to Sergeant Status. And uh, I'll see you guys tonight. Love you so much.